Mr. Nikos Anastasiades, President of Cyprus. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, allow me at the outset to convey my deep appreciation and uh, sincere congratulations to the United Kingdom for hosting uh, COP26, as well as the Secretariat of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change for organizing this extremely important and timely conference for challenges associated with climate change. Challenges that are uh, global and can only be mitigated if we all act together with a sense of urgency and joint commitment towards enhancing collective action and accelerating global transformation to a low carbon and climate resilient society. Our target towards uh, this goal was clearly identified six years ago at COP29 in, Par 21 in Paris when we collectively pledged to cut greenhouse emissions as to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared with the pre-industrial times. However, currently, and we have to be honest, so as to strengthen our efforts in fulfilling our promises, there is no sign that we are growing back greener since not only plenary, pl planetary warming is accelerating, but we are witnessing around the globe protracted heat waves, devastating fires and deforestation, increased water scarcity, droughts, fl floods and extreme weather patterns. That is why I have no doubt that COP26 can and should prove to be the historic milestone in the efforts to address the set devastating impacts by ensuring the highest possible commitment from all participating or from all countries in a way that is fair, efficient and transparent whilst maintaining solidarity towards vulnerable countries that will be severely affected. For these exact reasons, Cyprus fully endorses and supports the initiatives and declarations of COP26, namely the Glasgow Leaders' Declaration on Forest and Land Use, the Global Goal to Clean Power Transition Statement, the Declaration on Accelerating Transition to 100% Zero Emissions, Cars and Vans, as well as the US Initiative, the Global Methane Pledge Initiative, and the Greening Government Initiative. Further, in addition to our commitment to adhering to the targets of the set declarations and initiatives, Cyprus also remains fully committed to take all the necessary measures to us to achieve the Paris Agreement and the EU, EU targets with the aim of achieving a 55% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and carbon neutrality by 2050. To this end, and as a first step in accomplishing these ambitious but highly needed goals, my country will allocate more than 500 million euro up to 2026, adopting new policies and measures as regards using cleaner fuels such as natural gas and renewable energy sources and promoting necessary investments in the relevant areas of transport, agriculture, industry, land use and forestry and waste management. Distinguished friends, as a small country, we do acknowledge that our national contribution towards tackling the impact of climate change is indeed limited. We therefore 
seek to enhance regional cooperation through coordinator, coordinated synergies and sharing best practices, taking into account that the Mediterranean and Middle East is classified as a global climate change hotspot. Within this framework, <coughs> excuse me, within this framework, we have undertaken the initiative of developing a regional action plan with the involvement of more than 240 scientists from our wide region, as well as various international organizations who are already preparing policy recommendations, measures, and specific solutions. With the finalization of the scientific part of the action plan, which will establish the foundations of our future steps, within the coming months we will hold a ministerial meeting and later a leader summit that will initiate appropriate coordination and monitoring mechanism for the implementation of our commitments. Distinguished friends, we are compelled and people expect, ex expect from us to take on urgent, to take on urgent action to address the climate change, and I'm certain that you will agree uh, with me that uh, the time to act is upon us. Our vision should be none other than to look to the future with optimism and to use the climate challenge as an opportunity to proudly demonstrate uh, what all countries, what humanity can achieve when joint forces. I have no doubt that by decisively cooperating and acting together with unity and greater urgency, we will be able to overcome the dire consequences of a warming planet and bring forward the necessary changes for a sustainable future so as for our generation and the coming ones to enjoy better health and living conditions, improve their quality, and the green environment. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. It is my